After smashed windows and looted properties, Colors of Unity appeared in Jefferson Square Park this morning. Tonight, Gabrielle Gaddis was there, showing us how people used art to heal and to stand in solidarity. I think it's critical that we remember why we're gathering and who we're gathering for. On a warm, sunny Wednesday, this group chose to spend it with paints, posters, and chalk. If you're not involved, you're complicit. During a time of unrest, art is their outlet. It's about art, right, changing this image of what we're here to do, who we are, um, and what we can do through peaceful protests. It was important for Ashley Taylor's kids to tag along so they can have an early exposure to social and racial issues. Um, before they can see it with their own eyes, being able to hear it from the mouths, the voices of other people. Allie Herring used the event as an opportunity to create signs she can march with. The fact that there are way too many names. If we made a sign for every name, Every single person would have their own name. Like, that's insane. I want to hang them up all over the trees and uh, decorate all the trees with flowers and her face. Reagan Lehman ditched the drawing tools for clay. Brianna Memorials. In light of Brianna Taylor's upcoming 27th birthday. I don't see how you can see all this happening and, and not want to do something. And I wish I could do something more. They're actually people's lives and well-being. So to use that, it's really an excuse. I'm tired of people hiding behind politics. So Shea Sewell and Alyssa Betts came out to create posters illustrating messages inspired by their own experiences. But well, without us standing up here and, and coming and showing our support, sometimes it falls on deaf ears. So I think that we have a um, very important responsibility. Tonight, Gabriel Gattigas, WHS 11 News.